An outdated Albuquerque intersection is finally getting an upgrade, but it's getting mixed responses from neighbors saying impatient drivers will just zip through their neighborhood instead of using the intersection. News 13's Gabe Chavez has a look at what is coming to Wyoming and Manal and what the neighbors there are concerned about. Thousands of drivers cross the intersection of Wyoming and Manal every day. It's about to get a facelift. One big improvement, the stoplights, which are the last set of lights in the city still hanging from wires. So what they're going to do is take down all of the traffic lights overhead, which are on wires, and they swing wildly in the wind, and they'll put them up in the metal um, L-shaped ones. And that's fine. That needs to be done. Neighbors we spoke to applaud the change, but other parts of the project are drawing criticism. For instance, the plan to permanently close the shortcut for drivers turning from Manal onto Wyoming using Victor Circle. I think the city is going to a lot of trouble for no real gain. The city is citing safety for pedestrians and ADA compliance as the reasons for the closing. It's really hard to cross that intersection now through that little turnoff that's called Victor's Circle. And if you're on foot or on a bicycle, it's just totally dangerous. And so by closing that off, we're going to make it a lot, lot safer for people who are especially on foot. Neighbors say it will cause more traffic to cut through the neighborhood behind Hoffman Town Shopping Center. People learn that they can't get from Manal to Wyoming this way anymore. They're going to come through our neighborhood on one of the three through streets. Probably the next one over uh, Prospect, which is right there. The project has been planned since 2018. And neighbors say they heard from the city again in 2021. But they say they were surprised when construction began last week without warning. They say they wish the city had held meetings this time around. In 2021, we had a Zoom meeting and they listened to the residents. I think that was a good idea. This time they should have done that before they started the project. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. That construction project expected to last nine months.